high class. I think the only way sustainable efforts can be achieved in any city is through the city government. Sustainability is too big of an issue for grassroots solutions to make any real big strides in solving the many problems that are going to need to be solved. Places like Freeburg give a glimpse at what cities could achieve when the power of government institutions back the population. That being said, I don't know if Dakar is ready for its government to mandate sustainability efforts. Just like people need the backing of the government to accomplish a monumental task, the government also needs the backing of the people to complete one as well. The government can pass all the legislation it wants trying to make the city more sustainable, but if the people are not behind those efforts, it begins to get difficult to enforce them. The people of Dakar still lack basic necessities in the city. Neighborhoods can go weeks without running water, and electricity cuts can be just as long. Senegal is also seeing a drop in food production as drought and water shortages affect crops and decades of overfishing have reduced the number of available fish in the present. As the Sahara inches closer and closer each year in climate change, increasing temperatures and drought conditions, I just do not see the city of Dakar having the resources to combat these problems and launch sustainability efforts. This is where the topic of the global north and the global south becomes interesting. Most of the nations in the global south are not going to be able to afford the resources needed to shift to more sustainable practices to fight climate change. It is going to take a serious amount of investing in the global south for those countries to be able to fight climate change and increase sustainability. Without investment from the global north, the global south is going to find the cheapest solutions to meet the basic needs of its people first before they begin to think about sustainability, just as the global north did when they were growing as cities. As long as my basic needs are met, I'm fine living in a situation like Freeburg. I currently live in a city and do not use a car much. I live within a walking distance of most of the amenities I need, so I think life would be pretty similar. Thanks class.